everyone. In this video, we are going to learn what is the difference between virtual and abstract function. Abstract methods do not provide implementation and they force the drive class to override that method. It is a declare under the abstract class and abstract method only has the method definition. A seem like a virtual method have an implementation. Unlike the abstract method, it can be exist in the abstract and non-abstract class. It provides the drive class with the option of overriding it. Let's check with example, open the new project. Windows console application, abstract, yes, virtual method. <coughs> First, we will create that one abstract class. So, I will create public abstract class abstract class. That is class abstract class name that is abstract class. Now, in the abstract class, here you can write like a abstract method public. abstract string get abstract name so in the first one it was like that abstract method do not provide an implementation so that abstract like a method do not provide implementation means like you cannot implement like that so it will give the error abstract method cannot declare a body so abstract method do not have an implementation. Second point is that they force the drive class to override that method. Means like that once you are going to create another class just like a class A, A and you want to override so that means it's force that drive class to override that method. So that you have to override this particular method. So it's forcing to the override this method. Okay. Abstract class that that is abstract method. It will declare only in the abstract class. So see you can see that if this one is abstract class here you can declare that the abstract method but in the another class like a concrete class you cannot write this particular method like if you change the name also just make a one so it's not allowed you can see that it will give the error abstract but the content is non abstract class so you cannot write like that ok that point Next, <clears throat> we'll create the virtual. So virtual is virtual string get virtual name. So the virtual uh, method you can implement also. Return by the message get virtual. So you can see here in the if it's a virtual method that means you can implement also virtual method you are implementing as well. means like say that virtual method have that body also and you want to, if you want you can override it just like you can write write override get virtual name. So that's it, it was saying the point virtual method have an implementation unlike the abstract method means abstract method don't have implementation but virtual method have a implementation an abstract method and it can be exit in the abstract or non-abstract class so here you can see that 
In the abstract class also you can write a virtual and non abstract class also you can write Yeah, you can see here in the uh, abstract class also you can write a virtual and non abstract class like this one is a non abstract class also you can write a virtual but in the case of abstract abstract you can write only in that abstract class got the point okay so in the virtual you can write it in both abstract and non abstract class okay now we will check that what is that uh, why we are using virtual when we can use that abstract just delete this all okay just delete it. now we are going to create three method just like we are going to create public string get normal method so it will return i am in the get normal method right next i am going to create one more method that will be the virtual virtual string get virtual method okay return i am in the get virtual method another will be the abstract method abstract string get abstract method now <clears throat> now if you will look here so we can look clearly so what is the difference why we went to use we will create that normal method when to use that we are going to create that virtual and when we should use that we can create that abstract method If you look, once I know that one, what's the functionality of that met particular method? So, if uh, any drive class will use that particular functionality, just like so, I'm going to create public class class A. This is going to be inherit that abstract class. Okay, just uh, because uh, this one is a uh, there is one abstract method, so it need to be implement. implement okay this is like a return i am in the get abstract method okay <clears throat> so when to use that one that particular method if i know that one ki this particular class will use this particular method for same functionality means they want only this message only they are not going to change for particular method so that time it will use that a uh, normal method if uh, that uh, maybe that uh, some some of the scenario we are going to change for particular method means like if uh, that abstract class have a method with the, the this string but in that uh, drive class like a class a wants to change this particular value that time we will we will use that one get virtual method just like if you see the example going to override because it's a virtual that means need to override create virtual get virtual method right so return if you look if here is the message i am in the get virtual method but i want to change this one because this class this class a don't want this message to return they want to modify this particular method so that times 
we use that one virtual so just like that I am in the class A virtual method okay class A virtual method this one is that abstract class but I don't want to use this this particular that functionality that body of this particular method I want to modify this particular method so that times we will override that particular method and we can change it and abstract means like if I don't know the what's the functionality of this particular method because I'm not going to implement that's why I created that one that particular abstract because once who is going to inherit and who is the drive class of this abstract class that one will create own functionality that times you will use that abstract method if it's that functionality is common for all those drive class that time we will use that normal method okay. so going to create that uh, object abstract class abstract obj to new so you cannot create the instance of that abstract class this particular abstract class that that so you have to point you can create like a variable just like if you are writing like a int a that time that means you are creating one variable so that this means that you are creating one variable once you are going to use that new keyword that means you are going to create that object of class a <coughs> now if you look will point get virtual method okay just print this one console dot right line dot read key that now run the application let's, let's see what will the output now you can see here I am in the class A virtual method why because that that class A overriding this virtual method you see if it's this one is overriding this one virtual method so that's why you are getting this message I am in the class A virtual method if you are going to comment this one just comment this one now run the application see I am in the get virtual method now you are getting that abstract class message just like you can see that this one is the abstract class and you are getting message of this because you don't want to override this that uh, that means that class A what's the method what is, what is the implementation implementation in the abstract class that particular implementation they want in the class A and like like a normal class method if we create it will be print like a normal this is the application see I am in the get normal method now if uh, they want to use that get abstract method call that get abstract method see I am the get abstract method So once again, so abstract method do not provide implement an implementation and they force the drive class to override the method. It is a declare under abstract class. Here we have, we have already seen that one under the abstract. An abstract method only has a method definition. Here you can see that one is only have a method definition. In the case of a virtual method, virtual method have an implementation See, that is implementation unlike in the abstract method because our abstract method don't have implementation but in the virtual method have an implementation and it can be exist in the abstract or non abstract math class it can be exist in, in the abstract and non abstract class we already seen that Okay, you can implement in that abstract class also and non-abstract class also here we already we can create that one virtual method in the non-abstract class 
it provides the drive class with the option of overriding it so you can see that if it's providing that it's it's overriding with the help of a override keyword I hope it's clear. Thanks for watching.